Hi friends, welcome to Ajay Automate's channel. I hope you are all doing good. So in this video, let's quickly review the test automation interview questions asked in TCS in the month of March 2025. Okay, so it was a walk-in drive and I saw many of our friends and candidates attended this walk-in drive. So let's quickly review the interview questions. So the initial technical round was for 45 minutes. The interview as usual started with self-introduction and then immediately moved towards solving programs. Okay, the interviewer shared a paper and asked the candidate to write programs okay so the first program was you from an array you have to count the number of occurrences okay so in this array there are duplicate values one is repeated two times two is uh, present one times and three is present two times so you have to produce I output like how many times the number one is present how many times the number two is present okay so you have to write a program and explain to the interviewer how you will get the solution so not only one approach you can explain multiple approaches like consider looping or hash map or java collections whatever concepts will bring a solution you can explain multiple solutions also okay and the second program was reverse your name so this is comparatively less complexity compared to program one okay so this is an easy one you have to just reverse your name okay this is program two so the interview here started with writing programs okay after self-introduction and then there were technical questions asked from automation framework and selenium explain about your automation framework have you faced any scenarios where automation is not possible so some of the test cases you are working on might not be possible to automate so you can explain those test cases okay so is it possible to do accessibility testing using selenium so i don't think so yeah, selenium inbuilt uh, features does not support accessibility testing i believe so you have to use any third party third party plugins like browser stack or lambda test to support accessibility testing okay and how many tests you run through automation so um, how many test cases you are running through automation consider you have 400 tests in your automation framework you can explain those cases so what type of tests you automate smart regression integration if you are automating APA also you can explain it how do you pass test data to selenium test so most of us use apache poi like excel or property files you can explain that flow so version control platform you are using we are using git so do you execute tests locally or have you integrated with cicd pipeline so if you have cicd pipeline you can say we are using bamboo or jenkins for pipeline execution okay so explain about your code review process starting from writing test scripts to um, creating a PR and merging it to master branch explain all the process here and what are the challenges you have faced so far in automation so um, consider you have faced uh, difficulty in identifying web dynamic web elements or you have faced difficulties in automating any particular flow you can explain it as a challenge okay what is the use of test ng annotation so it makes our code more readable test ng annotations right so you can explain those annotations whatever annotations you are using and what are the usage of it okay and there were some selenium coding questions were also asked in this interview so the first program was write a selenium code to capture screenshot okay so the interviewer gave another paper and asked to write selenium code to capture screenshot okay and the next program was consider there are 20 div tags in a web page with same name you need to select 18th tag and perform click operation so since there are multiple web elements present here we have to use find elements okay we cannot use find element we have to use find the elements okay and get all the tag names with starting with the div and we have to perform click operation on the 18th web element right 18th div tag so you have to use the index position 18 and perform click operation so you have to write this program in a paper okay so and the next and final round was round two so here there were mostly scenario based questions there so there were two people present here one was hr and the another one was i think project manager okay so project manager were asking scenario based questions from your existing projects like um, when requirements are not clear what will you do you you identified a blocker issue what will you do next 
okay so they were testing uh, your uh, project knowledge and what will you do in these kind of situations do you work in agile and on one what are the agile ceremonies you are aware of you can explain about sprint planning daily scrum calls sprint retro and sprint demo meetings so what domains you have worked explain about uh, banking or insurance or whatever domains you are working on are you okay to work from office and final final question was do you have any questions for us okay so these were the questions asked in round two round two was over very quickly whereas round one took around 45 minutes okay so these were some of the technical and managerial questions asked in this automation testing walk and drive and you have to score almost more than three in all these areas coding skills java concepts selenium concepts like automation framework selenium techniques agile concepts and finally communication is very important okay so I hope this video will be really helpful for your upcoming automation interview preparation. Please do subscribe my channel Ajay Automates and watch out for more automation testing interview preparation videos. Okay, and if you are looking for any training or if you are not able to clear automation interviews for a long time, you can reach us in this email automation testing programming at gmail.com. Okay, thank you all. Take care. Bye.